Megan, can't believe it's already been over five years since we first met. The number of adventures and big life decisions we've made at that short time has me so excited for the next 50 plus years. Looking back at that first year, I'm amazed you stuck around. I ran off to Puerto Rico for six months. I canceled the trip last minute so I could go stand at a bar for the World Series. And I took you home way too early in a relationship to meet the whole family. <laughs> Yet you just kept coming back. As we stand up here today, I can't help but think about how far we've come since we met in 2016. From that first night, we spent hours talking at Fountainhead to a move across the country, adopting two dogs, and then working from home together during COVID and buying a house. We've gotten to know each other better than we even know ourselves sometimes. We've done things our own way the last five years, which is one of my favorite things about a relationship. You help keep me focused on what I truly want for myself and also what's best for us, and I couldn't imagine a better partner to be by my side through life. I knew after that crazy first year, I had found someone special and was gonna do whatever I could to spend the rest of my life with you. It hasn't been all roses and sunshine. We've had our valleys to go with the peaks, but each time we work through it and come out better on the other side. As we start this next chapter of our lives, I promise to always be by your side, probably with a dog or two in hand, as we continue to grow as individuals and as a couple. Whenever you have a rough day, I'll be there to listen and remind you we'll figure it out. Whenever you need a laugh or just a hug, I'll be there. Whenever you need a break from a barking dog, I'll be there to distract it. One of the most challenging times in our relationship was choosing to do long distance only after a few months of dating and when you moved to Puerto Rico. We both committed to making it work and came out the other side stronger and closer because of it. After that experience, I knew we'd be able to conquer anything life would throw at us. Whenever you need someone to celebrate the little and big achievements in life, I'll be there with a couple drinks ready to go. I love you. I'm so excited to keep exploring with you. I can't wait to have a front row seat to all the awesome things you're going to accomplish. Today, as we start a new journey together, I know marriage will bring a new challenge for us, but I promise to love you through all the good times and bad. I promise to be there when life seems easy and when it seems hard, and when our love is very simple and when it takes a lot of effort. I promise to always be there to encourage and support you. I promise to always make us a priority and never stop growing with you. I promise to continue seeking new experiences and to make you smile and laugh for the rest of our lives. You are my best friend and the best partner I could have hoped for. I can't wait to start this adventure with you. I say thank you for making my best friend a much happier person and I would like everyone to raise a glass and join me in wishing these two an incredibly happy adventure filled future cheers I promise that I've tried I'd like everybody to take their glass and we'll raise it and I'd like to wish Megan and Nathan lots of love and happiness for eternity here you go Megan and Nathan One of the biggest things that I loved about Nathan is that he is so passionate about what he wants and he just goes out and gets it. The way that he talked about her and the way that he just changed as a person in so many ways just became an incredibly happy person in all aspects of life. Megan's the friend who follows through with birthday cupcakes or planning your camping trip for your birthday, or throwing an Olympics theme party. <laughs> Megan was there to catch me when I fell through heartbreak more than once, and honestly, Nathan, it makes me a little mad that you couldn't have like majorly screwed up at least once so I could return the favor. <laughs> In 
instead, Nathan called exactly when Megan hoped that he would, even when you were living in Puerto Rico, and you kept being there for her every step of the way. And Megan just kept going with Nathan's flow, which despite never being too specific about the future or driving Megan a little insane, somehow led to you two sharing a beautiful home, two dogs, and travels all over the world together. And a wedding, here we are. But even from a distance, I've witnessed the two of you build a sturdy foundation of shared interests that I know will carry you into a long and fulfilling life together. I love that at the end of the day, what you two love doing is spending time together. And I'm so lucky to get to be a part of it. Love you guys, and let's all raise a glass to Megan and Nathan.